Have you ever imagined what could happen by combining two ingredients as common as silicone and gasoline? Well, know that this mixture can produce a surprising, almost unbelievable result, yet practical and effective, known only by a few people. It all starts with the exact measurement of the components. First, separate the silicone, the same one you can easily find in hardware stores. Measure 20 grams using a scale, placing the product in a glass container, but you can also use any other container resistant to the action of chemicals. 20 grams of silicone may be enough for many small projects, especially when it comes to crafts or simple repairs. Then, set aside 40 milliliters of regular gasoline. If you prefer, you can use additive gasoline. The result will be the same. The proportion is always the same. For every 20 grams of silicone, add 40 milliliters of gasoline. Now to achieve a perfect mixture, you will need a very simple but effective accessory, a wooden stick. With two nylon clamps fixed at the tip, you create a small improvised propeller. Insert this adapted rod into the drill and use it to mix the silicone with the gasoline. Gradually, the mixture will acquire a unique color and a surprising consistency, becoming a very soft mass ready to revolutionize everything you knew about homemade waterproofing products. It's wonderful to have you here, following this content, so that we can get to know each other better, share in the comments which city and country you are watching from. Also, feel free to tell us what your current profession is. Your participation is very important to us, and I am excited to learn a little more about you. Don't forget to interact, as your comment makes all the difference in our community. The time has come to apply and test the functionality of this solution. With everything ready, the first experience will be done on a tire. Just dip a brush or a spatula into the mixture and apply two generous coats on the clean and dry tire. Wait a few seconds between each coat to ensure better adhesion and product efficiency. The whole process is easy, quick, and anyone can do it. Just a little care is needed to ensure good results. If you are not yet part of our community, this is the perfect time to subscribe to the channel. Here, you will find relevant content, exclusive tips, and fresh news, always specially designed for you. Don't miss any updates and stay informed about everything that happens. After feeling the texture of the silicone, I decided to try it on other materials. I took a square piece of wood, like the one you probably have at home saved after a renovation or repair. Again, I applied the solution in two coats, using the same method. Brush on one layer, wait a few minutes, and repeat. To ensure maximum safety and hygiene, I always suggest wearing gloves, avoiding direct contact of the product with the skin, as both gasoline and silicone can be harsh. But I didn't stop there. The next test would be even more challenging, a simple sheet of paper. Paper is notoriously vulnerable to water, making it ideal to check if the waterproofing really works. I proceeded in the same way. Two layers, patience between them, and of course, care when handling, since paper is more delicate. Once the application is done, it is essential to respect the ideal drying time. Let the treated objects rest for at least 12 hours in a dry and ventilated place. This time is sufficient to ensure the complete evaporation of the gasoline, leaving only the protective silicone layer fixed on the surface of each material. Now comes the most awaited moment, testing the efficiency of the solution in practice. I sprayed water over the three materials, clearly marking the treated and untreated areas to make a fair comparison. On the piece of wood, the result was striking. Where the application was made, the water slides off without penetrating, leaving the surface completely dry. The secret lies precisely in the silicone, a powerful waterproofing agent that, when dissolved in gasoline, 
facilitates and speeds up both the application and drying. If you have made it this far, it's because you are enjoying the content, right? So don't waste time and leave your like right now. This way you support the channel and ensure that you will receive even more news and interesting tips directly in your feed. In the paper test, the difference was even more evident. While the untreated area absorbed the water, becoming soaked and easily tearing, the protected zone remained intact, as if nothing had happened. This simple combination of silicone and gasoline has enormous potential, whether to waterproof materials like wood and paper or, especially, to protect tires. In the case of tires, waterproofing can prevent premature drying, keep the rubber flexible, and extend the component's lifespan, helping with the safety and durability of your vehicle, bicycle, or any other equipment that has rubber tires. Moreover, the cost benefit is unbeatable. It is an economical idea, accessible to everyone, and extremely versatile. Imagine how many objects you can protect from the effects of water and moisture at home. Gardening tools, wooden benches in the yard, cardboard pieces for storage, and even shoe soles on rainy days.